fragrant friends, it's Jay. Today's video is going to be a follow-up on the Lorga first impressions that I did the other day. Um, there was a viewer named Anisha Fell and she had some questions about these fragrances that I wanted to answer with you guys. Um, what I first want to say is that all of these fragrances are they, they go through a development. It takes time to get to the deep, deep dry down. And I would say it takes about 45 minutes to an hour to get to the deep, deep dry down of these fragrances. Um, also, these fragrances have good longevity. Um, but the projection I'm unsure of. My method for determining projection is to either ask my kids, uh, I'll spray it on myself and ask them if they can smell me. They get tired of that. So what I try to do is spray my um, shower curtain and I, I close the door to my bathroom and I'll kind of go back and forth and see if I can smell it when I first open the door or if I have to kind of walk into the bathroom a little bit to smell it. And so that is my method. It's a little bit cooler in my bathroom and so I'm not sure if it is, I mean, it's probably good for now because the weather is cooler, but in the summer months, I'm not sure about um, that method, but we're in winter now, so that's what I'm doing. Um, the Santel Sugar, I feel, is a decent projector. Um, it's a thin, It's I, I still feel like it's a thin fragrance. I feel like it would be better in the summer months um, just because it feels like a fruit cocktail with the lychee and the bergamot. It's very watery. Um, I definitely get the, the sandalwood. Um, it's definitely present, but it doesn't have the richness, the thickness that I was looking for. Um, this fragrance has, uh, in addition, a note of creme brulee that really, really attracted me as far as the fruits go. I wanted it to be kind of thick and rich with the fruits and the wood and the creme brulee, but it's not giving me that. So for that reason, I think that it would be better for the summertime. I feel like it would shine more in the summer. So as of now, as of what I'm craving um, in these warmer months, this is not really giving me, it's not hitting the spot. So again, I'm gonna save it for summertime and decide if it's something that I would buy. Um, so that's the Santal Sugar. The next one really surprised me. I was happy. I would actually spend my money on this one also. Um, this is the Amber Platine. It's beautiful. It's nutty. It's sweet with the caramel, but it also has a muskiness that I love. Um, if I didn't have Grand Soie, I would spend my money on this. Um, so maybe when I run out of Grand Soie, this is definitely something that I would um, love to have in my collection. This is the Amber Platine. Um, sorry, the Amber Platine. If you haven't tried it, I, I would say, like I said, I would spend my money on this one. So that is that. Um, what's next? The Nectar Cache. She wanted to know if I still loved it, and I do. This is another one that I would spend my money on. This one gives me that thickness, that richness, as well as the Amber Platine, but this gives me that thick richness that I'm looking for um, to kind of cocoon me in these warmer months, or, or excuse me, we're not in summer, in these winter months. Um, still get that brightness from the honeys, the thickness, the richness from the honey. Um, tobacco and leather give me more of a woody feel. They don't stand out on their own. As this dries down, I get more of a woody feel. So this is like a, a fruity, sweet honey, kind of thick honey with a woody base. So this is really, really pretty definitely worth trying. So yes, I would spend my money on this one. Um, the Oud Issei. I had um, not the best reaction to this fragrance and I still don't. Um, it's stinky. It's a barnyard Oud for sure. Um, there's coffee, there's milk, there's rose in here. Um, I didn't smell that at first, but as I gave it time to dry down, I definitely picked up on the rose. But that stinkiness, that funkiness, it, it lasts throughout the, the, the life of the fragrance, I feel. Um, it takes some time to warm up on your skin. So in the beginning, you get it. But that funkiness kind of just grows and grows on your skin. And it's it's hard for me to tolerate. So this is something you would, if you are a lover of barnyard ouds, definitely try this one out. But if you can't stand... Um, you know the funkiness of it this is not something for you as it as it time goes by the funkiness kind of tapers down it tempers with the rose so you can get more wood instead of you know barnyard but it's still there 
it lasts throughout the life of the fragrance. So it's like a funky, rosy, woody fragrance. Um, and, it, and it's creamy, it's milky, it's kind of that milkiness. You definitely pick that up too. Um, but more rose, more wood as the fragrance is um, on its last leg in the deep dry down. Um, the milkiness is not quite there, but there is a smoothness to it. Um, along with a little bit of funk. So if if you want the funk, <laughs> Oud Issei is for you, okay? Um, the next one is Queer Affine. And this was that smoky leather. But you know what? I do, as, I, as it dries down at the, at the base, that smokiness dries down. And it's not really detectable in the, in the deep, deep dry down, but what is is that creaminess that hazel was it chestnut chestnut cream um and it's really really pretty so if you're looking for a, a it's heavily smoky in the beginning probably even into the mid um but then that smoke dries down and you get a leatheriness um and then into the deeper dry down you get that creaminess of the chestnut or that chestnut cream um and a little bit of leatheriness too but it's just kind of a soft fragrance as it dries down but it kind of hits you hits you in the face with that smoke but mellows out in the beginning so that's queer affine definitely one to try i think it's one that um is worth experiencing at least so that's that one um the moroccan iris this one I had a hard time deciding what I was smelling in the very beginning, and I think because it was so dry. That's a word that I didn't use in my description. It's very, very dry upon first spray. But then that cherry comes through, um, and it lasts throughout the fragrance. This cherry definitely um, has some lasting powder. Powder? Power? It is a powdery cherry. Um, for me, it's not something that I would spend my money on only because I'm kind of tired. I feel like I'm tired. I have enough fragrances that have cherry. I don't need another one, but it's quality and it's it's bright. It's juicy, not too sweet, not too tart, but definitely cherry. Um, so with the iris and the oris, again, it's a powdery cherry with great lasting powder. So if that's what you're looking for, definitely try this one out. So that's Moroccan iris. Not so much iris, more cherry. Um, rose de incense. So this one I, I felt was pretty, but it has a plasticky note that I feel sticks around. Um, and I wonder if it's the fruits that are, are causing that. But as it wears, I get more of the incense and the rose. And so it it's not for me, I don't think, but somebody else might not mind that plasticiness or they might not even pick it up. Um, I, the incense in here is not an incense that's burning. So this is like a fresh incense stick or a fresh little incense. Um, I don't know what you call them. They look like little uh, pillars. So this one is really pretty as it wears. You definitely get a more, I, I want to say resinous. That's not the right word. It is incense, but it's not a burning incense. So this is really pretty. If you don't pick up on the, on the, the fruity plasticky note that I do, um, I feel like you might like this fragrance. So if you like rose and incense, it's pretty and it's smooth. It's a smooth fragrance. Um, the last one is the Musk Palawan. I still have my same opinions about it. I really didn't wear this on my skin, if I'm honest. Um, musky, beachy. It feels like a coconut musk, like a, like a beachy floral coconut musk. So that is the Musk Palawan. If you like that, definitely try this fragrance out. So like I said, all of these have great lasting power. The projection is still to be determined. I feel like it is, you know, at least within my bubble um, in these warmer months. Uh, I don't know what it would be or what other people smell when I go outside. Um, but yeah, they're definitely interesting, definitely worth getting your nose on. And the Amber Platine and the Nectar Cachet are ones I would spend my money on right now. Um, and the Santal Sugar, I'm going to wait until it gets warmer to decide if it's something that I would buy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, you know, more in-depth description about these fragrances samples that I've tried. Um, and give me your opinions, you know, let me know whether you guys 
would would sample these whether any one of these stand out to you and um yeah what samples are you guys into right now is there a house that i should should know about i'm always interested in getting my nose on things so that's it for today love jay bye bye